There's no winter in Florida yet, unfortunately. I don't know if it's even gonna come. It's December, I think we should have a little less than 87 degrees. What we're gonna do in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about some updates on the truck because there's a lot of updates. Just gonna share the whole journey with you. Turn this into uh, an overland truck. But I also wanna talk about uh, the 10,000 uh, 10, miles now on the truck. I've owned it for two and a half months now. So not that long, I put about 5,000 miles on it. So I wanna give you an update on <laughs> how, how it's been holding up. It's gonna be the shortest update you've ever seen. But before we do that, Let's give it a quick wash. the the ram instead of any other uh, truck to me ever since i moved to the us in 2012 and i saw the the rams i always thought that they looked so much better than all the other other uh, truck brands out there and i think that has a lot to do with the face and the proportions of this truck it just looks like a proper truck in the proportions there's not a lot of overstyling it's a very simple design which i appreciate and i also appreciate that the front headlights they are more vertical uh, placement than horizontal that you have on the Fords. You have it on the GMC as well. More of a rectangular area in which the uh, headlight sits. Here it's more of a rectangle, uh, I mean, uh, it's a squarish area on the other ones, and here it's more of a horizontal rectangle, so it kind of stretches out the front end, which I really like about this the, the design of this truck. The update here <laughs> 10,500, 10,600 miles at the moment, right there. I've driven about 5,000 of those in two and a half months or so, and there is really nothing to report. No glitches or no weird things. And there's a little doggy sticking his face out the window right there, very cute. Nothing to report, it's just uh, just been a great vehicle so far. I have no complaints whatsoever. What I did do, one uh, change that I did on the inside is I added a uh, matte screen protector, so it looks like that now. And you can kind of see that it's something on there, but it looks so much better and it's a lot easier to uh, just navigate your finger is sliding your finger like this it's a lot easier and the main reason why you get this is because it doesn't reflect the sun or the light so much right in your face when you try to press anything on the on the screen now we're just gonna park up here if we ever get there because traffic these days are I don't know what's going on in Florida at the moment but there's so much traffic that I don't think I've seen this type of traffic ever since I moved here in 2012. This year and the last year have been particularly insane when it comes to traffic on in areas where it just wasn't like that before. And that's one another reason why I'm looking forward to get out of this state because so many people are moving here right now, which I understand. It's it's a beautiful state and it's very open and so on, but I'm really looking forward to another state and kind of starting a new chapter in Colorado specifically and have some fun with that up in the mountains. I can't wait to do that. Let me give you a walk around of what it looks like after 10,000 miles. There's really not a lot of things happening. I took off the tonneau cover because I'm gonna have to fit uh, the uh, bed rack that comes pretty soon hopefully within a week or so because the tent will be here on Monday I believe it will be here and that is a smitty built that I went with and the I can't remember the name of the the rack I'm gonna put it up here and this just seems like to be the best value for what I need to have that uh, tent and that rack. More mods coming in, some lights for the front. And this is, this is a tricky one. So I got uh, this, a company who wanted to send me some stuff to test out. So I ordered a 22 inch 
light bar that I think is going to go right under the Ram logo because you see in here there's a lot of space in there so you have a lot of space all I gotta do is just pop the hood of course and remove basically the, the grill and the front part of the front here to hopefully just place it in there I don't know exactly how I'm going to mount it but that's a later problem so that's the one of the other mods that's coming in as well and the reason why I'm leveling it I also have the leveling kit coming in pretty soon uh, it's going to be a two inch lift in the front so we have the same kind of uh, uh, rate or, or leveled with the rear which is a little higher as you know than, than the front end so I think it's going to look really cool to have to have this be leveled now and also because I have the wheels and tires coming in hopefully as I said within a month or so I know exactly what type of wheels I want I want the fuel rebels I think they look absolutely fantastic specifically in this um, the, in the in the bronze matte bronze with some beadlock styling they're not beadlock wheels but it looks like they are beadlock uh, wheels and it looks really cool and then have of course since we have the leveling kit I want to have some uh, 35 inch tires on there as well so it's a lot going on we're gonna have the the rack going on first obviously with the tent on top to just test fit everything and the wheels the leveling kit the lights in the front what else exhaust I'm gonna leave it right now as it is I'm pretty happy with it overall it's not a bad sounding stock truck but in eventually I do want to have something a little bit a little just a tiny tweak bit louder than this but overall so back to the uh, 10,000 miles 5,000 miles driving this to 10,000 total on the truck it really is I, I really love this truck it's it's a fantastic vehicle as I said no problems with it whatsoever so far and I hope uh, that's gonna last for a long time I mean it's a modern truck so you would think that as soon as you as long as you just take care of the basic maintenance and keep uh, everything on everything on schedule you should be totally fine so the only the, the only thing that I've heard that when you level this you might hear some clunking noise from the suspension I'm not sure if that's gonna happen with with this truck hopefully not but it, it's something that I've heard can happen when you do a leveling kit on the Ram it's just a small detail I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's not something significant or anything wrong it's just something that could be a little bit annoying when you hear that going over bumps you hear that clunking noise nothing that I've had any issues with so far and uh, I'm gonna keep you posted when when things come in I think next video is probably gonna be putting on the the RCI I think that's that's what it's called the RCI bed rack on there it's supposed to be pretty easy to install and when we have that on then we're off to the races to build and try to get this into more of an overland truck that we can actually do some camping in